Hi everyone, it's Katrina. From an insane dinosaur massacre to the new discovery of what may be the biggest creature that ever roamed the earth, here are 10 of the craziest recent discoveries about dinosaurs. Number 10. Dinosaur Massacre Using fossil evidence, paleontologists have managed to put together the events of a bizarre dinosaur massacre. It all began with a herd of migrating centrosaurs. Centrosaurs were a type of herbivorous dino from the late Cretaceous period that lived in what is today Canada, back around 76.5 million years ago. Seasonal monsoons caused a bunch of flooding along the coast, so it drove the centrosaurs a little too far inland. What they didn't realize was that they were migrating straight into a horde of hungry Daspletosauruses. The Daspletosaurus was a type of Tyrannosaurid, a frightful lizard monster with huge teeth that wasn't afraid of anything. They were closely related to the Tyrannosaurus rex, equipped with dozens of sharp teeth and small arms. But don't let those small arms fool you. The massacre began almost immediately. The carnivorous dinosaurs had been lying in wait, and they quickly picked off the defenseless horned dinosaurs like a pack of hyenas picking off a herd of baby sheep. Then things got worse. The centrosaurs became trapped by a flooded river, unable to get across to the safety on the other side. Nonetheless, they tried, and dozens upon dozens drowned as they tried to cross, or were picked off by even deadlier water predators that moved in for the feast. In the end, almost no one survived. How did paleontologists reconstruct this horrifying nightmare? It was all based on dinosaur fossils found at the site of the massacre, with the paleontologists having to put together the clues of what happened, finally painting this devastating picture of a horrific nature documentary of 75 million years ago. BBC Earth has recreated this entire scene, and it's quite scary to watch. Number 9. The Asteroid That Made the Amazon there has been a recent discovery regarding the asteroid impact that killed off the dinosaurs. According to researchers, the asteroid impact also created the Amazon jungle. Researchers investigated fossilized pollen and leaves picked up in Colombia to show how the impact transformed South America into a tropical landscape. 66 million years ago, when the asteroid hit the Earth, it dramatically changed the type of vegetation on the South American continent. No wonder either, because the asteroid was 7.4 miles across. Dr. Monica Carvalho with the Smithsonian Tropical Research Institution said that she and her team examined at least 50,000 fossilized pollen records, including over 6,000 leaf fossils from both before and after the devastating impact. Here's what they discovered. Before the impact, the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico was mostly conifer plants and ferns. But after, the plant diversity declined by at least 45%, and most of the plants that bore seeds were extinct. It's true that the forest did recover over the following 6 million years, though this time, flowering plants became dominant. Here's something else that's really interesting. During the Cretaceous period, when dinosaurs still ruled the Earth, the forests were widely spaced. What this means is that the trees were spaced really far apart, and there was a lot of sunlight on the ground. Unlike the Amazon today, with the trees pushed against each other and the canopy overlapping, less light reached the ground as trees grew closer together, creating the Amazon rainforest as we know it today, filled with blossoming flowers and diverse plants. Number 8. Big in Japan Researchers in Japan have just discovered what could very well be the largest ornithopod dinosaur that ever roamed the country. The discovery comes in the form of a single fossil found hidden beneath the sand at a local beach in Nagasaki. The fossil is of a shoulder blade, with the horrifying beast that it belonged to measuring over 24 feet long. This dinosaur lived in the late Cretaceous period, roughly 81 million years ago. The fossil was so big that they needed to use heavy machinery to get the thing out of the sand. Researcher Kazunori Miyata referred to the discovery as an invaluable piece of material and hopes it will help scientists to better understand the dinosaurs that used to live in Nagasaki. Even more impressive is that the fossil appears to be in almost perfect condition. The dinosaur is called Hadrosauroidae, and it was a kind of herbivore. Other fossils have been found before of this dino, with the oldest in the area dating to over 120 million years ago. However, this is by far the largest specimen. It was one of the biggest plant eaters of its time in Japan, 
closely related to duck-billed dinosaurs. It wasn't only living in Japan either, as other specimens have been found in other parts of Asia, Europe, and Africa. Number 7. The Biggest Dinosaur in Australia Speaking of huge dinosaurs, a new species of dinosaur found in Australia has just been confirmed as the largest ever in the whole country, and one of the biggest on the planet. The fossilized dinosaur has been nicknamed Cooper because it was found in Cooper Creek, southwest Queensland. While the dinosaur was actually discovered quite a while ago, in 2007, researchers just didn't know what to make of it when they first found it. It was only recently that paleontologists were able to scientifically describe it as the largest Australian dinosaur, thanks to help from researchers at the Aromanga Natural History Museum. Cooper's official name is Australotitan cooperensis, and these dinosaurs roamed the Earth over 90 million years ago. The bones that were found were large and chunky, so paleontologists knew that they belonged to a large species. The team used 3D technology to scan each bone so they could compare them to other species. The Australotitan was a type of titanosaur, a species of plant eater that belonged to the larger family of long-necked sauropods. Cooper was found to be related to three other sauropods, and it looks like these dinosaurs were huge. Sauropods are the largest species of dinosaur currently known to scientists. But just how big did this monster get? The answer might make you dizzy. According to the paleontologists working closely with the fossil, the dinosaur reached a shocking height of 21 feet at the hip with a total standing length of 82 to 98 feet. When standing, the dinosaur would have been as tall as a two-story building. It had a long neck and long tail, huge powerful legs, and a fat hairless body. Australia has been on the map recently for these incredible dinosaur finds. Or, as paleontologist Scott Hucknell says, the dinosaurs find you. Number 6. Nest Sitting Researchers have made a new shocking discovery in China when they found the first ever dinosaur preserved while sitting on its nest of eggs. This is a one-of-a-kind discovery that scientists all over the world are celebrating. The preserved dinosaur was found sitting on a small batch of eggs, with the embryos still inside. It was an oviraptosaur, a kind of feathered bird-like creature that lived during the Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. The fossil was found hidden among rocks in Gangzhou City, according to the news release from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History. This is an exciting discovery because dinosaurs preserved in their nests are wildly rare, even rarer than fossilized embryos. While avian dinosaurs have been found preserved on their eggs, this is the first time the discovery has been made with an actual dinosaur. Picture a velociraptor like the one from Jurassic Park, except with brightly colored feathers, sitting on a pile of 24 eggs. At least seven of those 24 eggs have the preserved bones of the partial embryos inside of them. Three of the embryos were actually visible from the outside, meaning scientists could see the forearms, hind limbs, and even parts of tails inside the eggs. Number 5. The Monkey Dactyl Researchers have recently unveiled the creature with the oldest pair of thumbs ever found. It's been dubbed the monkey dactyl because it's kind of like a mix between a monkey and a pterodactyl. In truth, this strange creature was a type of pterosaur, only about three feet wide. It was fairly small, though extremely unique, because it was the first animal known to science that could give a thumbs up. What did the monkey dactyl do? It was a flying reptile that could glide around the canopy of the ancient forest looking through the trees for yummy bugs. It was so agile and so good with its opposable thumbs that it could literally snatch flying cicadas out of the air with its hands while flying. Imagine a giant eagle, but instead of talons, it has monkey paws. Another reason this discovery was so strange is that according to doctoral researcher Fion Waisum Ma, pterosaurs were not known for having thumbs. This is a unique animal, with no other like it during the age of the dinosaurs, and nothing like it ever since. The fossil of the monkey dactyl was found in northeastern China, petrified inside a piece of rock from the Jurassic period. It likely lived sometime between 200 and 145 million years ago, though scientists are still baffled over how it evolved to have thumbs, and why the animals that followed never grew them. And now for number four. But first, what's your favorite dinosaur? Let me know in the comments below. And I wanted to give a big shout out to Galaxy Clan and Ivan Jimenez. Hi guys, 
Thanks so much for supporting this channel. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 4. New Crested Dino A new species of crested dinosaur was recently identified in Mexico. The identification was done by a team of paleontologists who found the fossil of the new creature roughly a decade ago. It took them 10 years to identify the crested dino, and they now know it was an amazing beast that lived 72 million years ago. It's been named Platylophus galorum. The discovery was made in the Mexican state of Coahuila, and it all started with the tail. Researchers continued digging, quickly shocked to find additional bones, such as the femur and scapula, and even 80% of its skull. It was actually the skull that helped them to identify it as a crested dinosaur, since it had the notorious crest growing out of its head. The crest is actually something of an enigma to scientists who have been trying to understand its function for decades. Some paleontologists believe the crest was designed to increase the animal's ability to smell. The crest may have been used to increase the surface area of the sensory tissue, thereby allowing the animal to smell much better than others. However, it's still a working theory, and scientists are not 100% sure. Number 3. The Horned Monster A new horned beast, 82 million years old, was just found in New Mexico, and paleontologists are saying it could be the earliest dinosaur of its type. The newly discovered monster was a member of the Ceratopsidae family. The most famous member of this family is definitely the Triceratops, the deadly horned rival to the T-Rex. The creature once roamed New Mexico about 20 million years before the Triceratops ever showed up. It was basically the big brother to the Triceratops, significantly older and a lot smaller. Whereas the Triceratops could grow to an astounding 30 feet in length, this newest horned demon, named the Menephiceratops, could only grow to around 15 feet. In the small window of only 20 million years, the creature evolved to be twice its size. Pretty impressive feat of evolution. The dinosaur also sticks out because of its unique frills, the bony spines that look like collars growing out the back of the dinosaur's head. They were completely plain with nothing but bumps on them, which is quite different to the ornamental horns on later versions. Paleontologists believe the Ceratopsidae family continued to grow and evolve for between 145 and 66 million years ago but stopped only because of that pesky asteroid that crashed into the Earth. Number 2. The Largest Creature Ever In Argentina, paleontologists have unearthed a gigantic dinosaur that may just be one of the largest living things to ever reside on our planet. It's called a titanosaur, and it's nothing short of daunting. The creature was discovered in Patagonia, its fossil buried in thick sediment deposits at the Candeleros Formation one of the richest fossil deposits anywhere in South America. It lived 98 million years ago and was part of the family of sauropod dinosaurs, the biggest dinosaur family that I told you about earlier. 24 vertebrae were found, including parts of the tail, the pelvis, and its pectoral girdle. And yes, it's even bigger than the other sauropod that was recently found in Australia. Whereas the other sauropod was only about 98 feet, this one is estimated at reaching up to 122 feet. That makes it the same size as another giant dinosaur found in Patagonia named Patagotitan, a monster that lived 100 million years before today. Believe it or not, these giants may have lived in just about every region on Earth. At least titanosaurs did. Their fossils have been found on every continent except Antarctica, with many of them exceeding 40 tons in weight. Some, like the Argentinosaurus, could weigh up to 110 tons. That's over 12 African elephants stacked on top of each other. Number 1. The Fear Dinosaur A new dinosaur has been given a name that tells you everything you need to know about it. It's been called the one who causes fear, and it was terrifying. The dinosaur was found in Argentina, with researchers uncovering the animal's extremely well-preserved skull. It was probably one of the top predators in Patagonia during the late Cretaceous. It was huge, had a powerful bite, and had claws that could rip even the toughest dinosaurs to shreds. But where did it get its name? Its scientific name is Lucalcan, which is Mapuche for the one who causes fear. The lead paleontologist on the study was Federico Giantini, and he said that Lucalcan was a kind of abelosaurid, remarkable animals that thrived in the twilight years of the dinosaurs. 
These beasts were similar to the tyrannosaurs that ruled in the northern hemisphere in places like Canada and the United States. But in the south, it was the abelisaurids that were on the top of the meat pile, and specifically, the one who causes fear. This fear-inspiring predator was quite a bit smaller than its northern counterpart. It only averaged between 15 and 30 feet long. But other than being smaller, it looked just like your ordinary T-Rex. It had short and stubby arms, a very small skull with a crest on the top and demon horns, and sharp teeth for eating any dinosaur or other creature silly enough to get in its way. Thanks for watching! What's your favorite dino discovery? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button and come back soon! See you later! Bye!